<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Essentially Yu-Gi-Oh! And today we're going to continue with the Six Samurai deck from yesterday. I believe we went one and one. And one. I can't remember um, the first deck we played against, but then I think the second game, or the second match we went to game three against Frogs. Uh, it was a good match for sure. So I definitely like the list a lot so far. Can't think of anything I want to change. I like the upstarts a lot. The trap lineup seems to be solid. Um, this is really there, so we don't. Um, Gateway doesn't get Raikou or Kaiest or um, Dark Arm, Judgment Dragon, things like that. So, save. And let's see if we can find a match. Oh wow, it's pretty good. Obviously, a lot better if we were going first, but um, we we definitely have um, gateway, which is nice, and a way to get two counters on it. Normal summon treeborn frog. Does he have enemy controller set or something? This is weird. Oops, oops, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Activate, kind of see what he does here. Okay. Um, I definitely think Yaichi is going to be a little bit more important in this matchup. So I want to go ahead and just kind of, if we're going to risk something, let's risk hand. from their hand to the graveyard. Hmm. I guess that's why you would do that. I guess I should have saw that coming. It doesn't matter though. I mean, like, what can I do? It's probably gonna hit the Aichi. Okay, yeah. To the top of the deck. Where's it go? There we go. <laughs> you can't remember. I don't understand like why people have to type when it's like it's three cards. Doesn't make any sense. Alright, come on, man. 
anybody watching doesn't want to watch this. Sorry about that, guys. You don't have to summon that and face up attack position to, you can just, yeah, it's fine. You could have just set the tree point. Highest on gateway, I'm assuming. Oh. Two grave, I take three hundred. Yes, sir. It's cool that you get, it just has to be successfully summoned for gateway. Um, it's not like we're rolling, so even if they bottomless or whatever, doesn't matter. Which is pretty cool. Not worry about torrential here at Charlie Road. If he has gores, he has gores. Alright, uh, main page two. Um, pass. D prison and frogs? I don't know. This is weird. What if I just didn't attack? Streetworns would just be sitting there. I don't know. Weird stuff. He's gonna do block me. Which makes sense. Why wouldn't you thin your deck out some though? Like, I don't know. This guy, I don't think this guy really knows what he's doing. Like, do the swap, thin your deck out so that way you can draw more monarchs. set this just in case but I can't set anymore I don't want to lock myself out Not yet. 
sure that's another D prison. That's a good card to draw for sure. Just in case, let's get hand. I think that's what we want. Yeah, hand, hand to hand. Um, declare. Yeah, figured. Um, I mean, I can fiend shame, but like, what is that really gonna fiend shame attack over one? But what is that gonna do? Uh, yeah, I'll just pass. We should be able to do something next turn. Summon a monarch here. Mm -hmm. Three Duke Frogs. Three. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target monster for attack of those. Just gonna keep looping these. Can't loop Duke Frog, I don't think. No. So once I get rid of the Duke Frogs, yeah, Swap Frog, I'm not worried about that. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. This is kind of sick, not gonna lie, this is kind of nasty. Um, okay, not worried about Gores, I have D prison. Sick. Dude, we just cleared three Duke Frogs and a substitute with six Samurai in a turn. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we're expecting the Monarch. I guess he had to cut something to fit all this stuff, and it looks like Monarchs were what he cut. That's just gotta be a Swap Frog, right? Really wanted a monster there. That's okay. 
3rd D prison. That would be annoying. I'm going to set this because worst case scenario we can, if we need to free up a slot we can. But I just don't, I want to go for game next turn so I'm loaded up. Okay, why would he do that? And why would he do that on his turn if he's going to hit it? Oh, this is weird. Not today, buddy. Another weird thing to do. Why wouldn't you hit? Why wouldn't you be sending this back and then sending these guys back? This is weird. But that's game. Should be. Well, no. Not yet. If we draw a monster scheme. Oh, we really needed a monster there. Wait. 21. Yeah, that's fine. Main phase two. Shut up, path. Any monster, and we're solid. But, I mean, we have plenty left. It's just. I don't know. He's probably going to have to end on this, unless he just drew another monarch. This is funny. Honestly, I should have just let him do that and then attack in a D prison. Because for some reason. Oh, that's game. Face now, decent position. Four, one. Um, thinking. Target fire and attack until the end of this turn. Plus five hundred. I mean, grand. Sorry. So it takes 200. Um, I think phase two. Half. We could have got the draw if United, but I don't know. What could he possibly have? Even if he has Junk Synchron, it doesn't matter. We have Starlight Road and Deep Prison, so we can't get Black Roast. We don't have to worry about Goyo or anything like that. He's at 2,500. If he has a Monarch. Why would you just normal summon a swap frog? So weird. Oh my gosh, so good. Just take it out of hand. Um, yeah, I mean, just attack, attack. He doesn't have battle fader. Remove two tokens, two counters attack. Sick game. For us. Long second. Slide the Eddie Storm in going second. 
These two can go. Um, keeps hitting the back row, which is weird instead of the monsters. Three. Four. For these four. He's playing a lot of a lot of trap cards, so I would ideally like to open Heavy Storm against him. Going second. Yeah, this seems solid. Can't believe we got through triple dupe. So crazy. It's a pretty good hand. No complaints. I have to tell him. You know. Like, just set it. Because now it makes it look so like so obvious that you have that. So just just set the set the thing. D crow, obviously. Monster or discard? Six and my United. Okay. We have to do this. That way we can at least get over the token if we have to. Maybe there's two. A two path. That's a pretty good opening. This card's kind of good. I mean, I can see it being really bad going second, but it might be a good side deck card going first for Frogs. It's a pretty cool card. Get some utility out of your Swap Frog if you just... If bouncing it back just isn't really... If you just don't need to bounce it back. But I don't know. Actually, usually, like, bouncing it back is the best thing to do. Yeah, we can't afford for that to be something like bottomless or whatever. Golly! Ooh. Yeah, I mean, there's only one thing to do here. Attack. And pass. Alright, we can stop a play here with this. So if we draw a monster, we should win this. Why no tree born? Why no tree born? Please don't say you forgot. There you go. Gotta help each other out around here. Oh, man. 
I don't really want to give him life right now, but if we draw a monster, we're good to go. Okay, I think we just win. Oh my gosh. Did not expect that. I guess ultimately, well, yeah, this is the correct order. Okay. Jeez, that hurt. I really want him to have a monarch right now. So we can Phoenix Chain, pop it with hand the next turn, clear his shield, only have two cards in hand. If he doesn't draw another monarch, we're in a good spot. This is so much back row for a frog deck. It's a good card. Yeah, I think we win. So we have DD Crow. We contribute a Gorse token, or we contribute to destroy Gores if he has Gores. Okay, that's actually good. So we took the first 16. Main phase 2. Um, we can go declare to kill that. And. Let's end. I mean, if you draw a substitute, substitute, that's kind of going to hurt a little bit. But if he just keeps it in defense, okay. Yeah, I have to let it die. Solid. Um. I mean, in order to have a game, we have to get Zanji 18 plus 16 is 36. No, 18 plus 16 is 34. 18, 20, 34. Of course it's gone, but still be careful. Yeah, he's at 100. I don't know what he can do here, given that we have Phoenix Shane. Nice. Oh, we needed a water. Good game. Okay, so that was interesting. I mean, the, the trap card's really good, the Tribute of Water. Take a card out of your opponent's hand. Um, I might side that 
in, in my frog deck that I plan on doing. Uh, it's a good card. I would never want it going second, but going first maybe. I don't know. I could see it being decent. It's just like another death shoot, basically. But yep, uh, deck did really well. Um, game what was it? Game one? Was it game one or game? Game one was sick. The triple dupe play, where we were just looping the hand, and the grandmaster was really cool. But alright, guys, see you in the next video. Thanks.